Hey guys, Danica Ferranti here from MyBeautyScraps.com. Today I have a really fun, quick and easy thank you card to make. Um, I was making some thank you cards for my customers. Lots of you took advantage of that awesome online extravaganza Black Friday sales we had last week. And I wanted to get my thank you cards in the mail. So I thought I'd share with you how I make some really quick and easy thank you cards. I always am in need of thank you cards. There's lots of things to be thankful for, um, but especially around the holidays. So I thought I would use some fun Christmas stuff to make thank you cards and give you a sneak peek at this new stamp set that's coming out in the occasions catalog. So this is called All Things Thanks. And I love that it has so many different, um, very specific thank yous to use on your thank you cards, as well as some generic ones like you are amazing and you are the best and thanks for everything. That's the one we're using today. I think that one's my favorite, but it has really specific thank yous like thank you for making my birthday happy. Thank you for welcoming our newest arrival. Thank you for being part of our happily ever after. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for that thing you did <laughs> is also a really great one. Um, and this one's available in red rubber um, clear mount or the red rubber wood mount. So that's a sneak peek. Again, this is in the new occasions catalog. So you can start shopping for this set starting January 4th. Um, or if you would like to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and join my team, um, you can add this to your starter kit right now. So if you're interested in that, definitely contact me and let me know. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, but you get to choose $125 worth of products, anything in our current catalog, and anything in the new occasions catalog for just $99. It's an awesome deal. So the other thing we're using is the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series Paper Stack. I just love this paper stack. It has lots of great Christmassy patterns, plaids, and sweater prints. It's really cute, and we use this in my card class for November. So I thought it would be fun to use this for my thank you notes as well. So I chose one paper. We're going to be using the plaid side, um, but you could recreate this card using really any designer series paper. It's kind of like a, a one sheet wonder <laughs> card for a six by six paper pad. So the other thing we're going to need is something, um, a place to stamp our sentiment. So I already die cut these squares out from the new stitched framelits, which I am obsessed with. <laughs> I think I'm putting them on every card I'm making these days. <laughs> so I wanted to show you really how I made this um, step by step for all four cards. So what we're going to need is one sheet of Whisper White, two sheets of Garden Green, um, one six by six designer series paper piece, and then to cut out these squares, I thought I would show you a tip on that too. So this is, or was, <laughs> a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of Whisper White. So I cut it in half at five and a half on the 11 inch side, and that way it can fit through your Big Shot. And I was able to get six squares out of that half. You guys know I love to use up every little bit. <laughs> I don't like throwing out scraps. So I thought I would show you um, this is the largest square in that framelit set. So you're going to be able to get um, six squares out of the half. So 12 squares out of one whole piece of Whisper White. That's really awesome. So now I'll let that go. <laughs> now I'll throw that out. And another little tip, we're just going to be using four of these six squares on the card today. So I'm actually going to start a little iris container of my extra die cut stitched shapes. And that way when I need one, I don't even have to pull out my big shot, which of course is always on my desk anyway, but I don't have to reach for my dies. Um, I'll just be able to grab that container and have pieces already cut in, in Whisper White. So I think that's all of my 
<laughs> rambling tips for now. Let's get started on creating these cards. I'm gonna put those pieces out of the way and bring in my trimmer. And we're gonna start by making the card bases. So we're gonna do that with the two pieces of garden green card stocks. So let me bring this down so you can see it. So that lighter colored piece is not a blade, that's the scoring tool, and then the darker gray one is the cutting blade. So we wanna get the cutting blade out of the way. Get our paper at four and a quarter and bring down the scoring blade. And I like to do all my scoring first and then I do all my cutting when I'm making a bunch of cards. So I'm going to score the other piece at four and a quarter. And now I'll cut them both in half at five and a half. for the shaking. <laughs> now we're going to bring in our Whisper White piece. Because we're using a dark colored cardstock as the base, I like to put um, a Whisper White insert inside so it's going to be easy to write on. So this one I'm going to cut at four inches. And then I'm going to take that piece that was left over and cut that in four inches as well. Now these skinny little pieces I find are really handy for adding sentiments to cards. So I have a little um, scrap file that I keep those skinny leftover pieces in as well. So now we're gonna turn it on that 11 inch side and cut it at five and a quarter inches. And we're gonna cut the other piece at five and a quarter too. And put those aside. And then our other four inch wide piece, five and a quarter. And five and a quarter. And then we have four inserts for our four cards out of the one piece of Whisper White. And it's always fun to jazz up the insides of our cards. I just did that in my card class last month. If you joined, then you have this set of washi tape on your way to you. If you are not a part of my card class um, and you don't have this washi tape, this is the Warmth and Cheer washi tape. It is available in my online Stamp It Up store, so there'll be a link to that down below but I thought it would be fun to use the plaid one to coordinate with the designer series paper that we're using. So I like to just put a little line of this right along the bottom of the card. And this washi tape is so easy, you can just tear it off and fold over the sides because that will be hidden. And I'm gonna do that to all four pieces. I really feel like this sort of um, I guess a assembly line method of card making is easy when you're making a bunch of cards to do the same step on all of them. It's funny because I love my washi tape. I use it in my project life all the time, but sometimes I forget really all of the different ways that you can use it on cards and putting it on the inside of the card is one of my favorite uses. My other favorite use for it is on my envelopes. It's so cute to just put a little piece of this on the seal of your envelope when you're ready to mail your card. So very quickly we have all four of the insides of our cards decorated. Now let's finish up the card base. I really can't make a card without using my bone folder. <laughs> Actually don't know where my newer one is. This is my very old one. I've had this. This was one of the first purchases <laughs> that I made from Stampin' Up probably back in 
I think 2002 was when I was first introduced to stamp it up so that's really crazy it has a, a little bit of a broken tip but <laughs> this has held up great over the years all right so we've got our card bases cut and scored our inserts decorated and ready now we've got our designer series paper piece so this is so simple it almost doesn't seem right to call it a one sheet wonder but <laughs> all we're gonna do to make um, four cards out of this one piece of designer series paper is cut it in half at three inches and then cut each of those pieces in half at three inches And that's, that's it. <laughs> now, like I said, I already did um, die cut our stitched pieces and that's where we're gonna do our stamping. So I'm gonna use my garden green ink pad and I've already mounted the thanks for everything stamp onto a clear block. Gonna ink that up. And center it up and stamp it down. Beautiful. Then we can do that on all four pieces. I'm really excited to get these thank you cards made up and out in the mail to my customers, but I'm definitely going to make a nice stash to have on hand. I love that they use the holiday uh, papers. They're going to be perfect for my Christmas thank you notes too. I find that these little thanks for everything cards are really great too to give with your gifts like um, your teacher gifts it's thanks for everything that you do and here's your present rather than just a Merry Christmas card it's like a Christmassy thank you it's really cute I can tell this is one of gonna be one of my favorite stamp sets <laughs> in the new occasions catalog although guys I really can't pick a favorite. I'm going to, maybe it's one of my most used stamp sets. Let's say that there's so many amazing things in there. I can't wait to start showing you more. I'm going to have lots more sneak peeks coming up this month. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those. Now to put these whisper white inserts inside the card, I just use a little bit of snail. I kind of go a little overboard with adhesive on the front of my card, but on the inside, it's really protected in there, so I don't go too nuts putting too much on. I just put it like a little bit in the corners. And then since we cut those a little bit smaller than the card base, when we put them inside, we're gonna have an even border on all four sides. Once I finish these cards, I'm going to start prepping my December daily. So I'm going to be making a video for that too. I am so excited um, that December is just about here. The December daily album is my absolute favorite project that I make the whole year. Um, wow, I just had enough, <laughs> enough snail for that one. I have to grab my refill. So yeah, December Daily, oh, it's just my favorite project. I really find like, not only do I enjoy making it and I enjoy looking back on it, but it really almost like centers me <laughs> during uh, this crazy, hectic holiday time of year with so much going on. It really 
helps me to like focus on the little things every day and and even like the big events it helps you really appreciate it more I don't know it's just it, it's a very it's almost like a very thankful album for me too I just love it of course I can't find where my refill went Got another one at the ready. <laughs> Can never, never have a snail adhesive too far away. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our three inch squares of the designer series paper, and I kind of center it up near the top of the card. So I kind of just eyeball it so I have an even amount of space on all three sides on the top. And we'll do that with all four cards. And then you know I can't make a card without using Stampin' Dimensionals, so we're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our die cut stitched squares. So it's a very simple card, a very simple design, um, no embellishments, it's really just um, designer series paper and cardstock. So I really feel like using those Stampin' Dimensionals and popping up that stitched square gives it a little extra something and that stitch square really gives it an extra something too like that's so much more of a impact than just cutting a square I love that framelit set and apparently you guys did too because um, it is on back order now from Stampin Up um, they did turn off um, the ordering for it so you can't go into my online store and order it right now, but it should be coming back into um, stock, I think toward, oof, I'm not sure. I'll put something in the description box below if I can find out when it's coming back. Um, I thought you were gonna be able to get on the waiting list for it toward the end of the month. Because it comes with squares and ovals and circles and then the sizes coordinate with our layering squares and our layering circles and our la layering ovals they all work together that's one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! is everything just works so well together so all of these colors coordinate so easy and that washi tape coordinates with the designer series paper Stampin' Up! just takes the guesswork out of it. And then you just have the crafting fun. <laughs> so that's it for quick and easy, cute and festive thank you cards in under 20 minutes, really, from start to finish. And with all my talking, you guys <laughs> could probably do it quicker if you're not talking. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed making these cards with me today. Um, and again, if you have placed an order with me already, you'll be getting one of these in the mail. Um, but I am going to make some extras to have on hand. So um, I always send thank you cards out to my customers because um, I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate that so much too. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I inspired you to create something today. Um, again, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you liked my little crafty tips. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Bye.